Alright, here we go. So here we go guys, it's it started. My, my camera's starting to act up right now. Just cut off on the uh, two minutes in here. And uh, maybe just keep happy now. I might not be able to get this uh, third video in here tonight. I'm just going to continue on now. Uh, I don't know how... That throws me off so much to know how to freaking upload and stuff guys. One uh, is chopped up that way and... Um, you really have no idea guys uh, what it's like to try to do this sort of stuff on a, on a shoestring budget no conditioned um, uh, studios here or anything right now no thousands of dollars worth of uh, recording equipment and all the rest of it guys just GoPro camera a laptop computer everything rough and raw uh, that's the extent of it guys so uh, it seems like it's probably getting uh, hot enough here in the room now that it's uh, starting to uh, interfere with the, the camera starting to overheat and shut off on me. So we'll give it a second chance here, continuing on. I'm not even going to go into what I just did. I'll make that part of the introduction now. Uh, uh, I'll upload it as an introduction and I'll just continue on here. So uh, again, it is uh, Thursday. Uh, June the 20th uh, at uh, I think 10 15 minutes after 7 there now guys 2024 um, so um, so yeah so can you know what I'm saying you know a discussion that we're having here about uh, uh, God beyond uh, um, religion um, so kind of jumping ahead here now guys like please go through the videos in the sequence so you I would really appreciate it because it helps you too so you're not confu so confused about what I'm getting on about uh, you know if you look at the videos leading up to because this is why I upload them in sequence like this one after another and so on that so I say so much in one and so much in another one and so much in you know and so you had to look at them in that sequence guys to get a sense of what I'm getting at if I bring something up I would lose what's that referring to well I may have already mentioned that in, in, in a previous video so go back to the beginning and look through all the videos you guys to get to where I'm at now so I think so I am where I'm at now at this point in my life at uh, 59 years of age, just turned 59 a week and a half or so ago, uh, spending um, the the greater portion of my adult life, uh, pushing 40 odd years now, going down my own personal uh, spiritual path after walking away from organized religion long ago uh, in, in my late teens. Uh, needing to keep that in my life needing to keep that um a part of my life so i have already checked out quite a few videos online guys of uh, youtubers uh, who have gone this route who have come from a highly religious background who grew up in a highly religious background grew up uh, as uh, ministers children and all the rest of it sort of thing and uh, well, I'm on the same path, or a very, very similar path, and in, in, in thinking about things, questioning things, not understanding things, stuff didn't make sense to them, whatever sort of thing. Stuff didn't uh, jive within their spirit as to the things that they were being um, taught, expected to believe. And they gradually uh, pulled away, pulled away, pulled away, until they got to a point where they lost all interest in religion altogether. And, uh, but they went to the other extreme of becoming uh, atheists, and thinking that the whole thing is nonsense and not wanting to have anything to do with it um, at all. And so now I have explored these videos uh, and the ones that are putting forward that perspective. Um, but to be honest with you guys, for myself personally, I have never felt the need to go that far with things, to go to that extent. Uh, and. Um, now, some people would argue that it's just wishful thinking on, on my part and just my inability to let go completely or whatever sort of thing uh, and just live my life just facing the facts and facing reality and, you know, facing the, the uh, material evidence of things, what our uh, five senses indicate to us as being the reality of things and so on and so forth. And, um, you know, I mean... That could be, guys. I mean, that that, that could be that, that that could be a, a small part of it, 
uh, in that uh, I don't personally get any comfort out of the uh, atheist uh, perspective. I don't get any comfort out of thinking that this is all that there is, guys. I mean, for myself personally, it does nothing for me, you know. And to think that uh, I have to live out my entire life, what's left of it now, uh, life, struggle and, 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 and scrape and, uh, you know, go through things that I'm going through. I'm going through a rough time now because I recently had to uh, leave my last place, living in a bachelor, living off government assistance, barely making ends meet, blah, 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 you know. And uh, so having to go through those things and no sense that there's a greater purpose behind it all, it just makes that struggle that much more difficult to try to model through. Like if there's no if there's no greater purpose, then why even bother to go through all this anyway to begin with? Why, why struggle, you know, why, why, you know, it's like if there's no purpose behind it all, why even bother, you know? So for myself personally, I have to hold on to something, guys. I, I, I just had to, you know, for, for a sense of well-being and a sense of greater purpose and all the rest of it, I just have to hold on to something greater beyond this life, beyond this, this level of existence sort of thing, you know. So uh, then it comes to the um, matter of what do I hold on to? Like where do I take my personal uh, spiritual perspective and path uh, from that point on if I'm going to reject organized religion and uh, this is what all of this has been about for most of the past 40 odd years guys going down my own personal spiritual path sort of thing so one of the first things I realized that I was not going to stop believing in was the existence um, existence of God you know some supreme something or another some force some 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 essence some source of some sort that uh, originated everything that that was the origin of everything you know so i have been working on over the past uh, 40 odd years it's, it's really taken a long time to try to as the young people nowadays say you'll know, deconstruct my my my, my, my religious um, conditioning or whatever, training, uh, to think in as broad terms as I possibly can as to who and what source can be. And, uh, but still being open to the very, very distinct possibility that source of some sort does indeed uh, can exist, you know. And uh, so I am relatively comfortable where I stand that particular thing now, that, that particular perspective on, on that particular issue, that particular topic. And so I am continuing on down that path, uh, trying to develop my understanding along those lines uh, to see if I can get even further in my understanding of what source actually is. And so I'm not pigeonholing myself, guys, because this is what religion does to you. This is what religion teaches you to do to pigeonhole yourself. And so I am trying to keep the perspective as broad based as I possibly can and trying to seek out wisdom and enlightenment and insight from, each, from every possible source that I can come across, guys, you know. Uh, so this is what I'm doing now. We're checking out stuff online. I've been years checking out various uh, uh, spiritual new age channels. I was doing the spiritual new age things e even before uh, I started going online, sort of thing. Now you you go on you go to the computer, go online, go on YouTube, almost anything nowadays. And so this is kind of where I'm kind of sticking to, sort of thing. And um, so I drift toward. I'm drawn toward anything that I sense is not promoting out and out what I call negative energy. Uh, so anything that I, I have a sense that is that uh, is producing a negative sense that's, that, that's generating negative energy and I almost feel it in, in, in my own being and that there's there doesn't seem to be overall logic and the perspective that's being presented to me, uh, that I will walk away from, that I will turn away from. 
uh, if if it if I don't sense that the perspective that is being presented to me is going to work toward a greater sense of wholeness and a greater sense of oneness and unity, uh, I'll walk away from it, sort of thing. And that's been like a kind of a general rule of thumb for me now, guys, for, for quite some time, actually. Uh, to, 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 uh, you know, people will say, well, okay, you walk away from religion, so then what do you have left? You're, you're going to be all over the place, you're going to be going in every which direction and so on. There. Well, you know, not necessarily, guys. You can, you can structure your own personal spiritual path in such a way that you don't necessarily have to be all over the place, willy-nilly sort of thing. You know, you can uh, have certain, uh, a certain framework that you can work with that you can still have a, a good, fairly stable, fairly um, st uh, straightforward uh, spiritual path that you can go down sort of thing so uh, for for me right now and this is where I've been for quite some time there's only two or three things guys maybe four things that uh, make up the uh, um, core of my uh, spiritual perspective the essence of my spirituality at this point in my life sort of thing uh, one is the, uh, the, the one basic primary thing uh, is the continu uh, continuing continuation of believing that a source of some sort exists. Uh, that's one. Number two is the uh, continuation in the belief that we continue on past this plane of existence. That's number two. And it, well, I mean, again, it, it, it ties in. I mean, it's like uh, uh, I need to have a sense that uh, once I once this existence has ended for me, that I can pass on into some other. A level of existence that will make everything I went through in this existence worthwhile that that put more greater meaning toward that existence and it just kind of like you know continues on ever upward sort of thing you know so that's why uh, I pretty much for the most part reject the notion of uh, eternal damnation and all the rest of it I got all oh, I could get like I could make a whole huge series of videos on that one alone guys that how that teaching is so sick and so perverted and so twisted and so so unspiritual and so ungodlike I don't even know where to begin you know I've heard other people try to to describe their reactions toward that particular teaching uh, it is repugnant beyond words so um, so I replace that with the uh, teachings of reincarnation uh, which are infinitely more logical and, 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 and make far more sense and, and are far more befitting of a loving God that wants uh, its children to continue to grow and evolve throughout endless time and space and all the various levels of uh, existence that quite likely exists beyond this plane of existence. So reincarnation uh, uh, teaching focuses very much in my uh, my personal belief system and where I'm at spiritually uh, right now as well. Um, and uh, because I uh, because of course I come out of a, a Christian background uh, and because uh, of course Jesus Christ being the, the foundation of the religion and because I made a decision at 12 years of age that I was going to have uh, Jesus in my life and like I said earlier in my other videos I had it introduced to me even before that when I was like four or five years of age from my grandmother it's always been there that idea has always been there just this personality this spirit this essence this idea of this this uh, enlightened all, all loving individual being soul you know has always been there um, I, for myself personally, I'm not able to root that out of my life, sort of thing. I don't want to root that, I don't want to, uh, so uh, it is also trying to get a different understanding of who and what uh, Jesus is as well. So I'm only going to very quickly touch on this in, in this video guys because I'm going to make a series of videos about this at some point very very soon. But because of everything that's after happening since October 7 uh, in Israel and with the Jewish people and uh, what's, what the Jewish nation and, and the Jewish people are having to go through currently and the way the world has turned on them, a good chunk of the world has turned on them, 
uh, I'm tying a lot of my belief system into what's going on there right now as well and connecting uh, Jesus with that with that culture with that with with those people um, and taking it out of the Christian context and putting it which is where it belongs to anyway in more of a, a Jewish context so um, I have ceased calling Jesus Jesus uh, Jesus Christ and all the Lord Jesus Christ and all those things um, and have preferred to start phrasing uh, uh, calling him uh, what my sense is telling me to say right now and that's just to call him uh, Prince Prince Yeshua and I don't even have to say Prince but there's a reason why I'm, I'm holding on to that term and uh, so what's the it's to distance myself further from the, the the Christian religion and to kind of tie myself in more closely with my Jewish uh, brothers and sisters and uh, try to rediscover this Jewish sage and enlightened individual that uh, the religion uh, was very, very, very loosely founded upon, guys. So, uh, so Yeshua still plays an extremely important role in my life personally in the unfolding of my own personal spiritual uh, experience. Uh, and I'm, I'll get into a whole bunch of videos about that probably in the near future as well how uh, my understanding of Yeshua is, is evolving changing over time and so on that what I've recently discovered uh, in regards of uh, Yeshua being uh, my goodness guys uh, 16 mi minutes and th 35 seconds I'm gonna have to put this off now. see I can't do it see I try but I can't do it I'm gonna start up another one here guys and maybe three here now and that'll be it for tonight I'm gonna take care God bless